Hey, it's Wednesday the 9th of November 2022. We are days out from the first game ever in Germany in the regular season for the NFL at Bucks against the Seahawks. I am fortunate enough to be going to the game, working as media this weekend. Follow me along in my journey on this vlog as I travel from Ireland to Munich. Good morning from Munich, Germany. It is seven minutes past 11 on a Thursday morning. The reason I haven't got up yet properly is because it's day two, it's Thursday. I have to edit stuff in the morning. So I've been up since about seven doing that. Uh, the original plan was to go to the stadium really early to get some content, but I'm actually gonna head now in a second. So editing content this morning, but uh, it's gonna be a really, really cool day. I've got a few targets today. Gonna have a chilled evening, hopefully. But uh, two things I want to do today. I'm going to go to the stadium. I'm going to go to the Allianz Arena. I've never been a big football soccer fan as well. So I'm going to go around, see what it's like outside. I'll not be able to get in, obviously, but see what it's like. And then also we're going to go to... Uh, to and then also I'm going to go to Marion's Platz, which is in the city centre. And that's where Good Morning Football are filming every early morning afternoon uh, in Munich this week. So I'm going to go and see if I can bump into someone. Uh, probably won't be able to, but look here. We'll check it out. Uh, you've probably seen like the, the videos from the, the box bar last night was just, it was just unreal. And, and it's me calling it a bar. It's a house. It hosts up to three and a half thousand people. It's just so different to a London game. It's so different. Like the atmosphere is already so different and we are still three or four days out from this game. So follow along today and let's see what happens. And we'll go on a little tour of Munich together. First up, let's go to the Allianz Room. Right, people on the vlog, I have made it to the Allianz Arena right behind me, as you can see. Well, you can see a bit of it. You can't see, it's that big, you can't see all of it. It's literally in, like, the north of the city, but honestly, like, it's... I don't want to say it's like the middle of nowhere, because it's in the city. It's like a 20-minute drive north of Munich, from the city centre. But, like, for stadiums in the States or the UK or wherever, you, usually you go and there's a store and stuff, it's completely cordoned off completely cordoned off you can see just behind me they're getting the box merch uh, or the box branding ready for sunday but it's literally a, a real sort of takedown operation because Bayern munich played here 
on Tuesday night against Werder Bremen. So they don't usually have what they have in London where it's like a couple of weeks of getting set up. I think they set Wembley up within two weeks, which is funny to think of in, in that sense. But uh, yeah, outside Allianz Arena, let's have a look around it. There's not much to see here too much, but I will say, um, it looks pretty good for tailgating on Sunday in terms of, of the European tailgate experience. Behind us, we have got like a big area where buses are dropped off and there seems to be an area where people can just sort of stand and honestly have some beers, have some food. So that's going to be cool. Um, and it's very easy to get around by the looks of it because it's, you know, of its location and it's so, so big. So uh, getting excited now, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm not going to lie. It is pretty cool. Um, if only they'd let me inside, huh? Anyway, let's go down to Marion's Platz and see if I can nab Kyle Brandt or somebody from Good Morning Football. Or at least stand there awkwardly live in TV. Who's winning on Sunday? You know what? I think the, um, the Seahawks might win this game on Sunday, but I don't want to say it out loud because i got to see how everyone's playing. So we'll see how everyone gets landed. But the Seahawks are favored right now, but I never bet against Brady. <laughs> Can you tell us what is it like to play at that age and to continue to keep it going and how long do you think Brady can keep going? Well, it's not that easy, I have to say that. <laughs> you have to keep in shape and I change many things in my diet, uh, but I wanted to continue playing. You know how it is sometimes when you don't have that speed anymore. Hey folks, it is the third day in Munich. I know, suddenly that vlog just ended after NFL Network. Um, ended up editing yesterday evening for like two or three hours and then I went to an event which I've got some photos of and you'll probably see it when I'm talking now, Sport 5 event which um, was pretty cool, Daniel Jensen was there, people from the zone, different areas in Germany, different, different elements and markets in Germany and it was really cool to meet, honestly something that really, really impressed me, the just the game here, the growth of the game here and the infrastructure in place here is incredible so a big thanks to sport 5 for the event last night really really good fun enjoyed it great to meet the great iron deutschland gang it's uh, Jana and julian we're going to start planning stuff now for the for the big weekend in in munich in terms of today it's friday it's what, november the 11th uh, it's currently 11 in the morning i've been producing stuff since eight o'clock so you know i'm going to try and get more content in this vlog the next few days but i just so busy producing stuff so I'm sort of you know already imagining Saturday morning will be me seeing a bit of the city. Uh, I want to go see Odeon's Platz tomorrow to see what it's like. Today we are doing a gridiron show recording um, in Munich which you'll see in a second which is going to be fun with Will Gavin, Ollie Hunter and after that there we are going to the Tampa Bay Bucks practice. So Tom Brady etc. Uh, in Munich this afternoon. That, that is at 3 o'clock this afternoon. So that's the plan for this vlog today. Follow us along. I'm going to go now to the recording of the Gridiron Show Munich special and I'll see you there. Hello and welcome to the Gridiron Show coming to, to you live from Munich and we should really be in like some Bavarian beer hall at this point with an umpire band going on with a stein in front of us all that great stuff and don't worry Ollie Hunter, that's coming. That's coming. Don't you worry. You've been here for three or four days now. How have you absorbed the German culture? A point of note for everyone listening. Um, I got here on Wednesday, and I have to say, I was saying to you lads, like texting, ringing and stuff, and chatting last night. I, I know it's the first time over here in Munich, but I have never seen anything like this in my life. Like, I've never really been to Germany outside of going to like an NFL game or even a football game. So it's like even seeing a beer house for the first time is crazy. I have never been in one. And 
the bars that they have set up for the Seahawks in the box are like just it's so different to London and I can't wait to see what it's going to be like like we're doing this on a Friday like what's the plan the next few days so we're, we're recording this on the Friday evening yeah we really need to get over to the box like now-ish look at this We made it to Munich. Uh, the Tampa Bay practice is on just behind us right now. Tom Brady, etc., all out in the field. This is an experience. Uh, it's crazy because it's one thing, obviously, having Brady play in Europe again. This is his fourth country he's played in outside of the US, Mexico, the UK, and now Germany. But to have this here at Bayern Munich for the first time, it's just, it's very hard to explain what it's like. The complex is all set up. The NFL game day morning crew is here. Peter King is here. Roger Goodell is here. It's just, um, it's pretty cool. Tom, you've got uh, obviously proud Irish roots and over the course of the last 20 years, this game has grown incredibly. H how impressed have you been with the growth of the NFL throughout your career? It's been amazing. I'm at, I went to London in 2000, what year was that, the first time? Nine. So 2009 was the first time. And uh, you know, it was different then, it was kind of pre-social media. So it was still kind of a big deal. I remember being in one of the press conferences early and it felt, um, you know, like there was a lot of excitement, um, but it feels different now because I think everyone is, you know, it's so easy to be a fan of Bundesliga soccer and, um, you know, because you see it all the time now. You see it on your phone, you know, you get to know different players and it's just very easy to follow people. So it feels like the world's gotten a lot smaller. Um, so just for us to be over here is really exciting and uh, it should be a great environment for football. I just tried to be the best I could be in my sport for my teammates and played a game with integrity and respect. Um, I have a lot of respect for people who play this game because, you know, it's a big sacrifice. It's a big physical sacrifice. Um, but in my view, it's worth it because there's a lot you get out of it too. And you meet a lot of cool people like Sebastian um, and a lot of other great teammates that I've had over the years. So um, those are great, obviously, sporting legends. Um, I just try to play the game as best I can and give it my all. Well, that was an experience. Uh, having the opportunity to ask Tom Brady a question is one thing, but yeah, I think it hits you maybe two or three hours after it's over. Great day, great fun at the, uh, the Bayern Munich training complex and just excited now for the game on Sunday. Another morning in Munich. It's what, day four now? I don't even know anymore. It's Saturday morning. Uh, the game kicks off tomorrow at 3.30 Germany time. It's 11 o'clock-ish on a Saturday morning here. Um, great night last night. Got the the big grit, grit iron show from Munich online. Went out, had a couple of beers with the talk sport guys. Just really, really good fun. The city is on fire. It is electric and it's so, so good. Um, it, I think it's the element of as well as the first time. And it's one of those things, but it's so, it's such a good experience. And it's something that I've really enjoyed so far. This morning, I am going to meet uh, Tiziana and Julian from Gridiron Deutschland in Marion's Platz. Going to do a few social hits there, so follow along. I still haven't got around the city. I have not been to Odeon's Platz yet. I might not get there before the game tomorrow, but I'm going to try. And then later on, I am going to a Touchdown Trips event with Phoebe Schechter and the Touchdown Trips team. So follow along on today's vlog and see how I get around this incredible city.
Guten Morgen, probably good afternoon whenever you see this video, in Munich for Gridiron with Tiziana Hall yeah. from Gridiron Deutschland. It's great to meet you in person. How are you doing? Yeah, hi. I'm really good. Great to meet you as well. Finally. I know. It's been a crazy few months. It's been a great few months. I think the content that yourself and Julian do is, is superb. Julian's actually behind the camera, so hello to him as well. Um, this is exciting. This is so different to a London game. Uh, it's going to happen here more and more. Like I, I wouldn't be surprised if we have two or three games here. What have you enjoyed most about the last few days? Just seeing so many different NFL fans um, strolling around the city. My home city, it's great. It's a totally different vibe. You see cheerleaders and you see mascots running around. So you really feel the NFL is here and it's great. We'll be around the stadium tomorrow. So use your hashtag Gridiron Munich. If you want to get in touch with us, I'll be around Munich all night. So say hello, say hi. Uh, finally, who's going to win tomorrow? I go with the Seahawks, uh, just like a gut feeling. I think they have more support here. I think they are in better shape right now. And But you cannot you cannot say Tom Brady is like out any game. So let's see uh, if, if he's really in the mood for winning. But yeah, I think the Seahawks have the better, like, the better start because they came here earlier and they have more time to prepare. So I go with the Seahawks. There must be 30,000 Seahawks fans here and minimum 15,000 Bucks fans here. There was a party last night, 6,000 people watching a podcast in an arena. There's a party tonight. It is off the scale how good this is. We'll be at the stadium tomorrow, Julian as well behind the camera. But for now, that's us from Munich. Uh, viel Spaß. Yeah, viel Spaß. Bis dann. Ciao, ciao. So Michael is trying his first Leverkus sandwich today. It's super exciting. He's just putting the sweet mustard on. I'm not a mustard mm. guy, I'm not going to lie, so it's, uh, <laughs> is that enough? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, yeah. No, you can put more in it. I like a lot of mustard, yes. Bite? First bite. Oh. What does it taste like? It's good. Meat? <laughs> Great day so far meeting the Gridiron Deutschland team, Tiziana and Julian, who are awesome at their job but honestly they're even they're even better people so just great to meet them I, the food that they gave me was was interesting it's very different to soda bread and sausages and a cup of tea uh, i'm in the city center now i don't know what this i don't know what the square is called and no doubt i will look at this and embarrass myself when i google it but it's pretty cool i am going to the touchdown trips private party which is going to be good fun so big shout out to ben and the team there and harry for uh, for, for the invite really looking forward to it uh, and we're getting closer to the game on Sunday. We're, it's, it's hard to believe this time tomorrow um, it'll be halfway over. So it's, it's going to be awesome. It's, it's a really foggy night here. You probably can't see it on the camera, but very, very foggy evening. It's about five o'clock in the evening here in Munich. So uh, looking forward to this tonight and follow along and see how we get on tonight. In a very busy Munich beer house the night before the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady take on Geno Smith and the Seattle Seahawks. I've had the privilege of being in the company of uh, Touchdown Trips, but more so Phoebe Schachter over the last couple of hours. Phoebe, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. What an amazing event we've got here tonight. I mean, this place is incredible. All the food has been delicious. I've been eating everything, drinking everything, all the good stuff you need. It's been really awesome. It's like a little, pri I would take you down there, but it's too loud. That's why we're here. We're like in a private room, uh, food, drink, all brought to us. Uh, have you worked with Ben and the team at Touchdown Trips previously, maybe before this, before this week uh, in Munich? Yeah, so I had the pleasure of working with the team at Super Bowl last year out in LA, and that was an incredible event. We were outside, there was less fog at the time, I'll be honest, but you know, it was really nice just to get to know all the people who made that massive journey and you know, learn about them, why they chose the team that they chose, how excited they were, you know, for the Bengals Rams game and and now to be here with everyone in here. This is this is really cool because it's super intimate and it's a bigger group than it was last time. Very quickly, Phoebe, who's going to win on Sunday in Munich? Oh, you know, I have to say, I was at Seahawks practice yesterday. Those guys have energy, juice, they got it going on. I'm going to have to say Seahawks in this one. I'm going to say Seahawks as well.
welcome to Munich. Willkommen to Munich, Neil Dutton. Man, I've met this guy for the first time today. Great to meet you, Neil. How are you doing? Well, your days are only going to get better after meeting me, obviously. You know, it's, a, <laughs> it's, it's a bit chilly, but there's four hours till kickoff, and literally the place is absolutely rammed. It's it, incredible. It's crazy, mate. But also as well, like you're t saying it's cold. It is quite cold. I've really messed up here. At least you've got that there on you. Um, we talked about this on the Gridiron Pick Show, which you can listen to now before the er before the early window kicks off later on. And um, you still sort of set on your thoughts for this game in terms of who's going to win today? Yeah, I still think that the Seahawks, the team that seems to be coming in with the better energy, they've got, they know who they are. They've got the, an identity, whereas the Bucks are still trying to figure things out. And it doesn't look like the quick answer's coming anytime soon. And you got into Munich yesterday. You enjoy yes, yourself? Yes, yes. I um, you know, drink was taken, should, should we say? Um, did did have to spend an awful lot of time with Mr. Gavin, but uh, you know, these are the sacrifices we have to make. <laughs> well, mate, I'll see you in there. I know you're going to be on with Gridiron today, and look, enjoy the game. And I'll certainly try. I'll see you soon. Everyone at home, you can watch the game on TV or listen on the radio. And this guy here will be on Gridiron Network at some point today as well. Welcome in to Munich. Uh, hello from Munich, Michael McQuaid for Gridiron. Tiziana Hall for Gridiron Deutschland. Tiziana, uh, hello, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. I'm super great. Today's the day. Super excited, I would say. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. There's so many people around us. The queue for the NFL store is like a mile long. Well, it was and now it's been down a little bit, but it's very, very busy. I heard a rumor yesterday they sold out of all the jerseys in the stores. Have you heard about like every NFL jersey was sold out? No, that's a shame, actually. I thought maybe I can grab something as well, but... Okay, I'm too late, apparently. Next year, next year, next year. Um, this is just, it's an awesome day for Germany, isn't it? And, and not just Germany, but the, the entire Dach region as well. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Like, you see so many different fans. Like, the the vibe is really, really good. Like, the, the um, you can feel like everybody's super excited. And also in the train, like, people were laughing together, different fan groups. So it's not aggressive at all. It's super, super nice. Yeah. It's a really, really good vibe. It's almost like Wembley Way-esque uh, over here. There's people walking in. To, it's like Wembley Way when you walk down. It's pretty awesome. Sind es Glück? 
which was uh, very, very special, and uh, I don't know what the future holds. So, uh, but it was amazing, and just got to meet some of the, the Bayern Munich players, and uh, um, you know, just been a big fan of international soccer for a long time. I know they got the World Cup coming up, so I uh, have a great appreciation for sports, what they do, how they bring people together, and I think this is another indication of that. It's really cool for a bunch of American kids to come over here and play in another country and kind of see, um, you know, be welcomed the way that we were. So we're very grateful. Thank you, guys. So, was this the main reason you retired? Sorry? Was this the main reason you retired? <laughs> Number one, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we, it, it, was, it wasn't probably the top reason why, but um, obviously this is an amazing thing that happened for our team, and um, it's going to be a fun ride home. I don't know if we have alcohol on the plane. <laughs> Not that I drink much, but it will be fun to watch all the other guys drink. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure that there might be a you guys looking for some beer on the way out to the airport. So. Do you, do you, uh gefallen, vielleicht auch so die größte Überraschung für dich? Ja, jetzt unabhängig erstmal vom Spiel davor, ne? also es war jetzt dann die Tage davor schon echt viel los und was ich echt krass fand, war so auch die Menge, was in der Stadt schon abging. Also Donnerstag angekommen, die erst mal ein bisschen rumgelaufen und da war schon so viel los und ich dachte wirklich, dass Samstag geht es erst richtig ab und spät, ne? und, und, und vorher ist nicht so viel, aber da schon Donnerstag ankommen, überall war Tom Brady zu sehen, die ganze Zeit, überall und das war schon echt verrückt und ähm, ja, also ich muss sagen jetzt so die Menge an Fans, es war schon irgendwie so ein Fußballfest, hat mir eben auch schon mal gesagt, es war jetzt natürlich beim Spiel auch krass, aber gleichzeitig diese ganzen verschiedenen Fans zu sehen, auch die ganzen Leute einfach mal zu treffen, für uns auch diese, die Twitter-Bubble sonst, man hat die meisten noch nie gesehen. What a day yesterday was. Incredible. Um, I'm on my way to the airport now. It's early Monday morning. I'm pretty tired. Uh, but what an incredible experience, and I'll talk about it more once I've got to the airport, got on my plane, and got home. But uh, yeah, we're making the journey home from Munich this morning. home after four incredible days in Munich, I think four or five incredible days in Munich, I am back in Ireland. Um, 
what a journey it was and i hope people that you know watch this vlog enjoyed it and find it interesting to watch from a fan's perspective as somebody that's worked on the league or someone that's just generally interested in how this job works and um, it has been a great few days from getting to germany to going to uh Mainz platz the first night to meeting the Deutschland team for Gridiron on the Thursday, to going to the Sport 5 event, to going to Good Morning Football, to interviewing and speaking to Tom Brady at the FC Bayern Munich training ground. As a soccer fan, as a football fan, that meant so, so much. And that was one thing. But then the Saturday, going around the city, going around the team bar, speaking to people, doing content, having some fun, meeting friends from Ireland, from the UK, meeting people I've never met from the UK, uh, and Ireland who were very, very um, positive about Gridiron and, and the magazine. And that really means a lot, folks. I mean, not, not just to me, but to the whole team behind this. So thank you all so much. Um, yesterday was incredible. It's something that I will never, ever forget um, for me. And I do not regret saying this. I said it to Peter King yesterday. I said it to different people. That was better than the Super Bowl for me, atmosphere-wise. To have everyone singing Country Roads. Uh, but not, not even just that, not, not even for like the, the viral moments. It, the atmosphere was incredible. Tom Brady didn't do an actual walkout like Aaron Rodgers done. The team all just came out at once, but whenever he announced his name, the pop was incredible. But the crowd was so engaged through that, and you could see how much it meant to the fans in Germany and the, the general Dach region. And the amount of people that travelled over from Ireland, the UK, was, was insane. Like we met people in bars over the last few days and you know you know buying tickets etc i think i think the one takeaway i have from this weekend is is the future of the game the future of the game in general and you know in in europe not not just the uk i i, I just feel that germany will have more than one game going forward that's my own personal opinion i have no background to that um but i think it would be right to give munich and frankfurt a game yeah if not next year then the year after i think that's the best way to do it the demand is clearly there three million tickets for this game on Sunday and you could tell by the atmosphere, by the way the players enjoyed it and by what Tom Brady said in his press conference, it's one of the best memories of his career and the guys went how when he rings, I think it says an awful lot. Um, it's been an honour to do this, it really really has, uh, if you would like to make me, you know, if, if you would like me to do this um, in Arizona in February for the Super Bowl, please like, share, comment below and I would love to do it. Your boy's going to go get some sleep now, but what an incredible few days. Feel very, 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 very fortunate, and uh, just a massive thanks to Platform Media, to to Gridiron, to to Ollie, to the crew, um, Matthew Sherry, Will Gavin, Talksport, everyone, and a massive thanks to my friends as well over in Ireland at the Irish NFL show. It's it's just been one of those great weekends where everything's came together, and it's been fun, even when you're working, and I think that means an awful lot. Um, it can be hard work sometimes, but when you get times like this. It really, really is worth it. So uh, I'm signing off. If you want me to do this in Arizona for the Super Bowl, please God, let me know uh, in the comments. You can get me at Michael underscore NFL at Gridiron on Twitter as well, or check out Gridiron on TikTok and Instagram as well. Hit us up anytime. If you have any questions, we've got podcasts every week. If you are checking this video out for the first time, please do type in the Gridiron NFL show on your podcast provider. But uh, okay, Vish Bas, um, of Wiederhausen, I am going to sleep. This has been awesome. See you soon.